hello 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 it's Wardy Zoo here and it's that time it's Monday Siege so I've got on early I'm just gonna try and take a base nice and quick this is our week to win so we're going full strength here full try hard I guess um, I still mess about a bit sometimes uh, we've got a base here um, the yellows have started hitting it but I think I'm just gonna go through and try and take them all see if I can get five wins um, start with a couple of basic teams Easy team winner. This here is just going to be a simple Lushen job. Which Lushen I want to use? I can even use. I have one of two Lushens I can use. I'm just going to have a quick look through. Um, yep, these two are both Lushenable. So I'm going to take my fat Lushen into this. I'm going to take my fat Lushen into this. I'm going to take a speed Lushen into this. So that's how I'm going to do it right now. So this will be the speed lushing. So I'm going to go here with one of my, I've got this, yep, with here. And um, we can really take whatever we want. We can take a lag, which should probably be overkill. We could take, we could take a Theo and I could use my other Lushen. I mean, that 10 speed means nothing, I don't think. There's a way the ferry might go, but that doesn't matter. The the media and the Odin aren't going to go. So actually, I think I'm going to go Theo. And I can use my slightly worse crit rate Lushen. Right, let's go. So my Megan's reasonably fast. Nothing crazy. I think she's about 275 or something. But she's likely to go first. Ferry Blessings, which is fine. Um, I think we're actually going to just hit that Amelia because she'll be the tankiest, lovely. Then we'll go with an 11 and a half. They're all gone. Doesn't matter which one he hits down. He's going to do absolutely no damage at all. It's as easy as that. The only way this team really works is with a um, fire threat. Um, a lot of people use it with either a Perna or with a Kum. But you're not going to... You just, just again with the elements, just it just doesn't work this way. So this time we're just gonna use my good old fat large and have a quick look at him here. It's almost two thousand one hundred attack, two hundred eleven crit damage. You yeah, know he packs a punch. So we get the two lushen ones out of the way. A little bit boring, but it's just the power of the lushen. He's so good. These this team's gone wheel shield to try and protect itself from a lushen, I guess. Just depends how fat your Lushen is. Well, he's going to get some stacks now, but we can just carry on. There we go. We can just carry on hitting that on him. Now he's got his five stacks. It's a little bit more worrying. Good ignore defense there. So we, we really need to, we could be in trouble here actually. We really need to, that shield is so strong. I think we might lose this one to be honest. Yeah. That that shield will that shield shield will. Yeah, the shield will's done it. Oh dear, I've lost. Oh well, well done there. Yeah, so so because the team was so tanking with that fifty percent win lead. Um, yeah, that that team has gone and won. So what we need to do instead um, is work down the Odin and make the Odin completely pointless. And to make the Odin completely pointless, we just use all fire. So we'll go into that again. So that was egging my face a little bit there, saying so he needed a fire threat. That guy was ready with his... Um... So I don't know who to start with here. I don't know if to actually go with the cum or to actually take the fairy. I'm thinking fairy. So I'm actually going to go here. Yeah. And let the cum hit something. Because he's not going to... He can't kill... It's a powerful shield. He can't kill my Garo and he can't kill my Lyca, so I think I'll just let him five stack something. Stop this constant heal because I'm just going to keep hitting him and hitting him. And he's just going to keep getting healed. So I think we'll just take out the Fran. There we go. Because we really don't have to worry about the Odin taking out the rest of my team. So it's a much more sensible idea. So he just now escaped. He doesn't look like he's on. 
violent. So you can't one shot anything. It's a very safe team, but after I lost, which I didn't want to really lose any today, um, I was making sure I was winning this no matter what. So we'll just we'll just work that. Sorry, don't want to take me. All right, we'll finish off the base then. Right. So that was Will Shield. So that was that was ready for a lushion. And my fat lushion's fat. That's like thirteen k a card. It's thirty nine thousand. So that was hella tanky. It was ready for that. Well done. Um, I should have just took Agari first thing, place, I would have just done it. But hey, doesn't matter. Right here, we're going to take a good old faithful team too. Um, all we've got to worry about is getting rid of that Fen Yang. When that Fen Yang's gone, the defence break's gone. There ain't nothing Juno and Camilla are doing against that. So we'll pop that. Again, this is one of my favourite teams. Straight into that, and then we'll go straight for the Juno. We'll hit the Camilla last, because Camilla will be the tankiest. The Camilla can really do us no harm at all. So we're going to pop that. Again, we're now with the artifacts. It's, it's, it's getting even better. Oh, look at that three goes in a row. Good old Camilla. Yeah, now because of the artifacts, um, you can get even tankier. Molongs and Nicrises and things like that. And all your HP and support units. So that's nice. I'm doing a little hit onto the Camilla, if you noticed. Because I don't want the dots and... There we go. I don't want the default dots and the defence breaks and anything going on to Juno she's just going to heal them off this Camilla's just gone six turns again but hey hey is that enough to kill the Juno no but this will be right it's Juno gone and then we can hit straight on with this so I think that was more of an attack based Camilla because it looks like I only had about 27,000 hit points no 24 plus no about 30,000 hit points right that was easily done Right, so now we've got two um, two more to take. This is a lot more difficult to take. Um, there's a couple of options. They're risky. But, you know, we like a risk. Should I be risking today? I, I feel like I should. Um, we can risk this with a... Oh, sorry. We should risk this with a... my work thing going off. Alright, sorry, we could risk this with the Gaddy Zaros, Tiana. If we don't get the defence breaks off we could be in trouble. Um, or we could try a Tessa, obviously, and just Tessa probably won't get here. I don't use Tessa much. I feel like we should try the Tessa. So I can also strip and provoke with the Rakan. So we could go Tessa, Rakan, and then something a really tanky water as well. I think. I mean, the. the I can't risk the Odin. I can't go full five because I can't risk the Odin getting a crit on one of them because then they're gone. Because if he gets a full five stat crit, he could just get rid of one. I would like a cleanse, really. But what we can do... I think we just go aerial and hope Kum doesn't do too many heal blocks. I mean, he can't heal block the Rakan because the Rakan will have his immunity out. So we'll try this. I'd like to try something with this because this is a very common team. A lot of people use chairs on this team as well. So here we go, the Fairy Blessings is coming up. So see how hard that hit, 40 something or thousand, so yeah. Um, okay, so what the idea is we want to strip the Odin here, fingers crossed, strip the wheel anyway. And we didn't. <laughs> oh well, the wheel's gonna go in a minute anyway. There we go. Uh, right, let's see if we can oblivion him which we don't. So at the moment, it's all going really, really well. <laughs> uh, okay. I think we should just kill him and he'll come back and we'll just kill him again. So really, at the moment, he's been pretty useless to Tesla. Can we strip anything off that? Good. Can we hit? Nice. Oh, he's took the. Well, he's got no stacks, but he has taken the. Should taken the oblivion off. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, I'm actually gonna clobber this fairy. Heal up. Might actually be able to get rid of the fairy here instead. That's four stacks onto the Odin now, which is a little bit scary. Um, I'm actually gonna hit him full health because I think with the five stacks, he's gonna hit me so hard. Right, good. I think we're getting there slowly but surely. Can we get the Oblivion again? Oh no, we can just kill. Brilliant. Okay, we should be fine now. So yeah, Tessa's a very good monster. Although in this situation, it didn't really work out. It should, and the Ruins on this team are nowhere near as good as they should have been. Uh, if the Ruins are better, I'd have struggled a lot, lot harder. So there we go. There's the win. Beautiful. We have so many passives building a good Tessa. It's just a must. Just a must. Right, so we're down to one last team. I don't know what this monster does. What does it do? It's all 25%, 10% sensitive boss of attack power. Tova and if you have five knowledge, still has beneficial effects right on the enemy. Means he gains another turn. Okay, I don't really care. Um, so, what I want to do here, I guess, is put a quick end to the rock. So a quick end to the rock will just say goodbye to this team. I'm just going to do this. I see. I hope it's not a 300 rock, which I'm pretty sure it's not. As we're not G3, <laughs> just G1. Right. So I'm going to strip. We're going to, yep. Yeah. We got two. And that should kill both of them because my Saros hits like an absolute truck. Cool. Now I guess it gives me almost no strength, right? That's what he does. I hit for pittance, yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Wow, so much for the LD. Right, base taken. Uh, five out of six, yeah. Uh, a little bit surprised by that... by that Louise team. They were prepared. Good on them for being prepared. You can't moan about that. I mean, I took a fat Lushen and didn't kill. So they were definitely prepared that 50% lead. I could have just taken a go straight away. And it would have been an easy win. But hey, you, you just live and learn. You try these things. Hindsight's a wonderful thing, isn't it? So, yeah, we just um, unfortunately didn't get that one. I might have a quick look at another couple of bases. Just filling, filling this up while we've got the chance. Um, I've told a couple of my guildies, like I tell you lot every time. Please, please, please do not build all element teams. All one element. Stop, 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 stop. Please. Just make it rainbow. Please make it rainbow. Right, okay. We'll put that in. That'd be nice. Got a lot of strong ones in there. Beautiful. Because um, setting your strongest defences teams, um, your base 10, where they can both hit you from each side. So the reds and the yellows can both hit you. And again, this 10's the same. So I'm setting my strongest ones here. I wouldn't worry so much about the others. Uh, I could go for uh, a couple of yellows here. Um, this team here. I mean, I've just used the Tiana, because obviously I could just Tiana this, and that'd be easy, easy, easy. But we're actually gonna go in here, and we're gonna use my second Lyca, because it's just such, a, and he'll hit for invincibility, remember. So, it's a wonderful choice for teams like that. I mean, these are a very dated team. We'll do Chiru to take the, if the Chloe goes first to strip it, and we'll take my faster, so just built a second Rourke, so I wanna try him out, and my faster Rourke, which just comes in about 260. Yeah, this looks fun, right? I mean, this team is pretty awful. If I lose against this, I should really delete the game, right? So we're going to triple hit the cat because my Lyca can go straight through the invincibility. So we're going to do that. Beautiful. Gone. She's going to die anyway, I reckon. Right, so there's invincibility. Um, I can trip it anyway just to be double safe. And then there's the hit. And it's all over. I don't know why I just done team up. That's my bad. So we're going to strip that wheel. Can't get any easier than this, guys. Build your 2A monsters, build your 2A crow, build your 2A rock, build these monsters. 
Mm. Lovely, easy win. That's five in a row, but I should have won one more. All right, let's do uh, another one. Um, right, I don't really understand any of these teams. A bit strange, right, let's do one more, let's do this. Um, there's no defense break. There's a bit of SMAF damage. Uh, it's strange. It's a strange team. I feel like I just want to take Sierra onto this and just take my time because Sierra will eventually do the job. Um, we can really just take whatever. Um, I think I'm going to take my Lauren with my Sierra. And I can just take another. I can take anything. I can take whatever. I don't really know what damage this team can do because it really can't do much, can it? Um, I can mess about really. Should I take Faye or. I mean, Smath can come back down and hit me quite hard, and I haven't got a heal. So I could pay for it if I don't have a little heal, I suppose. I could play it safe. I mean, I've used quite a few new teams. I've got my Iris, kind of. But then the Juno, I don't really constantly stun the Juno, do I? Um, I haven't used my Tyrannus. We could always go Tyrannus. Uh, I don't know what I fancy. Decisions, decisions, hey guys. I mean, I've got my Barbara. I do like my Barbara. But I've got Diana. We've got so many choices here that we can use. Oh, sorry. Um, I kind of feel like I want to use Diana because I just never use her. So let's just use Diana. Let's not take a heal. I'm pretty sure we're not going to need it. And if I get out of my face where we do need it, then so be it, let me lose. So, right, first things first, I'm just going to go straight for this Triana, which didn't work. So, I'm going to put a bomb on that one instead for now. All right. <laughs> I can see this is the way, which way this is going to go, right? <laughs> just, just going to put a bomb on her and strip her, then I don't strip her. Maybe I can get an additional go of my Diana, one of the few monsters I've got on Violent. Go on, go on. Or not. I'm a good start. Okay, right. This is going to be the end of monster number one. We're going to turn to the Smath now. Stun would have been nice there. We'll get the additional turn now instead. Beautiful. Lovely. It was crit damage build I've got on Diana. I have still got 100% crit rate as well. That hit hard. And I think that crit two or three of my monsters. Which is a bit annoying. Right, we're going to put the bomb on anyway. Even that's going to heal. We might be able to reduce it. Yeah, it's fully healed. Because we're going to get that bomb back off. There we go. So she's going to heal quite a lot though. Oof. No, she's not. Because we're going to take her out here. There we go. Ooh, job jobbed. Lovely. Right, there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna leave my last couple in case we need them at a later date. You know, just in case there's like one left in the base later and we just need to take it or whatever. So I hope you enjoyed that. Some basic, it's basic killed war, but a lot of you guys that watch this stream, you're gonna face the same sort of sort of teams. Um, as I say, we're at 5%, we're right in the middle of G1. It's, it's quite easy wars. Um, you just gotta be clever. Just think of the counters you need, which there's plenty of at this level. Um, we're all going to make mistakes, me myself included. I'm, you know, a lot higher ranked than this. I can compete at, but still, I still I lose one or two every now and again because, you know, you don't expect it. And sometimes you've got people farming like yourself, so you'll see another C three G one player sort of around this area, sort of doing a bit of farming like myself and a couple of my guys. But uh, yeah, um, I'm hoping. By the way, I've just put a video up, and that was a Twitch video, Twitch summons with Vic, and I'm looking to do some more Twitch summons on Sunday, same name, Adam Logan Ward. So if you give me a follow, it'd be awesome. And until next time, Wardy out.